Hi and welcome to SAP Plan Maintenance from QBRP. My name is Farooq Zaheer and I'll be your training in, trainer in this uh, training course. Uh, as you're coming to learn plant maintenance, uh, I'm making a bit of assumption that you know something about SAP. You have worked on SAP and you are aware of how SAP works. So if you still, I mean, you're a newbie on SAP, just, uh, drop me a note and I will try to send you some document or maybe create another small introductory module. So let's start with plant maintenance. Plant maintenance is one of the logistics module of SAP. It and basically it automates all the process of maintenance. It records the problem and the solution. You can schedule routine maintenance, maintain the location of your equipment with their history, the cost of maintenance in terms of labor and parts. Uh, this also helps you re to reduce the failure points in your plant overall. It's fully integrated with materials management, FICO, QM and PP. Uh, let's take a look at uh, SAP screen. So this is SAP. I will just increase the size. So in SAP we can go into logistics and see where the modules are sitting. In logistics we've got materials management, sales and distribution logistic execution production production process and plant maintenance so this is where plant maintenance is sitting so in this course we will look at the sap organization structure and the plant maintenance organization structure so just an understanding on how the organization structures have been set up and how they integrate with each other once we have done this one then we will cover the main uh, process that i will i will cover in this uh, training are the business transactions starting from master data uh, we will be covering on the different aspects of this module the different transactions look how they are working individually or in integration with mm fico qm and qm and uh, after this course i mean after the covering the business processes we i will give you a list of pm transactions guidelines on finding different tables in pm or other and also we will take up some of the configuration so let's start with the organization structure. So the organization structure that we are going to look at is basically the logistic organization structure. So what we are looking at is a controlling area, company code, plant, storage location, the purchasing, or purchasing organization. This is what we need and this is what we are going to cover. I can show you as a part of our introduction like where this uh, organization structure or the objects are created. So look, we need to go into the configuration which is uh, which comes by transaction code SPRO so in SPRO we go into the reference IMG and then in the enterprise structure under the enterprise structure we can look on the definition so this is where we define where the company code is defined so the company code is defined here business area is defined here so all the other this is financial this is financial accounting controlling this is mostly this is rather always done by financial FICO guys logistics here is where we uh, set up a plant and uh, this is also division is more of a like coming from the sales point of view I'm not looking at sales and distribution in materials management then we will be setting up the story location and once these are done then we will we have a small configuration to be done in the plant maintenance side so we have got this one we got the our controlling area we've got the company code we have got the plant and we've got the s lock uh, company code and plant have been assigned to purchasing organization so in this case we need if we need to create a purchase order to buy something for us uh, say a uh, item or a part so what we need to do is, I mean, we need uh, in the plant maintenance, we have, as I said earlier, we have a bit of a configuration. So what we need to do is we, we need to maintain a planning plant. Planning plant is basically nothing else but a place where all of your planning is done. So if you are doing a centralized function, centralized planning, then it means you might only have one planning plant. Suppose you've got 10 different plants spread all over the country, all have got uh, equipment and which you want to maintain but you are doing only your maintenance at one uh, planning at one central plant so you can have only one plant as a planning plant but if you do 
individual planning per plant then you can have central decentralized and so each plant can be designated as a planning plant but in my case i'm just uh, picking up one plant plant 1000 and make it making it as a planning plant so in the definition we come into the plan maintain maintenance planning plant click on execute button so here it, it is going to open uh, my plant is already here 1000 so I'm not going to do anything but I'm just going to show you how it is done if you want if you have a new plant plant should already be created so you just go to new entries give the number and save so that's it so it will be set up as a planning plant so the second part that we need to do in case of a second plant is we need to uh, sorry in case of planning plant is to assign a maintenance plant so the planning plant itself can be a maintenance plant if maintenance activities are being done in the same plant as well plus we can have a number of other plants which are designated as maintenance plant and assigned to the planning plant so this is done again in SPRO but this is done in the assignment part so we'll just close the definition part and open the assignment part so again in the assignment part we can see we can go to plant maintenance assign maintenance planning plant so now all it will show you a list of all of your plants so again this one you just have to put which is your planning plant so once you do this one it will update and then you can save so basically this uh, this is a test system so that's why there's a lot of uh, setup if I can just go and pick up my 1000 so you can see that against 1000 there are number of uh, different uh, let me go from here by contents planning plant 1000 choose so now 1000 planning plant has been assigned to so many different plan um, maintenance plants so in the maintenance plant then we will have a master data which is functional location equipment so basically we can define a plant maintenance uh, into three different broad categories master data planning and execution in master data we have functional location work center equipment and task in planning we've got single cycle maintenance strategy multiple counter plan scheduling of a plan notification auto creation etc etc so we will cover everything and then go to the configuration and sector so that's about it for uh, introduction so and i will see you in the next session where we start uh, to look at uh, master data but uh, before the master data i've got another small topic to cover which will be the creation of a uh, uh, creation of a factory calendar and assignment of the factory calendar thank you see you in the next session